Okie dokie. Um, oh, this is so nice. A little. Oh, okay. Last video, I showed you the big sheet, stems, the structural for the walls. And now we do the crenellations. Now, mind you, um, this extension is actually step one. Elevating the existing, existing uh, project. That's step number one. Step number two is um, um, make the uh, rock face on one side, extend the rock face on one side. Step number three, two, three, you can change. But anyways, is the outer wall. And step number four is everything that is between the outer wall and the existing wall. Um, there is a lot of preparation, meaning um, cutting the basic shapes, which I've done. So now I'm cutting everything I need to uh, uh, apply on the surface of these basic shapes, which are the walls, but also the crenellations. And the month of November and December um, are totally, I'm totally focused on building on this project, but I would, would like to do it, I will do it as quick, simple uh, and dirty as possible. So uh, let's make crenellations quickly. So, um, yeah, very simple. I use the template. Now, nothing new. Um, actually, this shape I had for a very long time, uh, but not 3D, only flat, to just draw the outlines and work with the scalpel knife. But uh, as you already know, um, we have the pillar jigs, we have the shingle jigs. So why not a crenellation jig? That makes it uh, way, way easier. And since, I'm, since I need a couple of meters, many feet of crenellations, um, I made a long jig. So roughly a little bit less than one inch thick. But here it is. And actually, I'm good to go. So let's cut it out, see how it goes. Okay. Very nice, but uh, a little bit too hot. <laughs> so, there we go again. Okay, uh, yeah, with everything, it takes, also with this, it takes some time. So, we have to be patient. Or, Ruben, we can go fast forward. Okay, so that was fast forward. And while cutting, we discussed the weather and all kinds of stuff. Anyways, uh, so here we have the first part. Um, we keep it in. Now we do the second part. I follow uh, the shape with the wire, obviously uh, try. And that's something you really have to uh, get familiar with is know where the wire is, know where, um, where it is underneath, you feel it, uh, and try to apply as less as uh, force towards the wire. Keep, try and keep it as straight as possible. It will not be perfectly straight because it needs to touch the template uh, on the upper and lower side, of, obviously. But Try not to push too hard. Very gentle. Takes a little bit of time to get used to it, but uh, 
once you know how it works, it's great. Okay, so very nice, don't need it. Okay. Okay, step number one. So now let's go for step number two. And obviously this is way too thick. So we slice it and then I think we need the monster, the Proxon XXL, to do the stop, the step that comes after that. Okay. Okay, it's time to slice this one up. Roughly two-fifths of an inch thick. So I get two strips of these crenellations out of one block. That's number one. And this is a little bit, this one is a little bit too thick. So and this is number two. So as you can see, I with one out of one block I get quite a long uh, piece of crenellation for my project. So, time to get um, to make, I have to make a final cut because this piece I can glue onto the wall, but I can, but I want to make it a little more solid. No, uh, I want to make it a little different. Um, yes. Normally you can glue this on top of the wall, against the wall and it sticks out. But what I want to do is I want to cut here slightly in and remove a slice of everything underneath my finger. So this falls back. So I actually glue it on the wall and the upper part falls over the wall a bit. Um, I think that looks way cooler. So that's what I'm trying to do. So how to do it? Let me show you. So let's try and cut this part partially away. So I have to measure first. One, two fifth of an inch. Two markings here and here. Actually, I could draw a line so you can see it. I will show you. Draw a line. Now, if you want to make this, you don't actually need a big machine like this uh, if you have a shorter strip of crenellations, obviously. But since I have longer strips and I have a larger machine, why not use it? Okay, so the idea is I put the wire on this line, I press, the machine is not on, so underneath it's on the line and here it's also on the line, so now it's in place, now it's in place. So the only thing I have to do now, switch it on. It's on. I wait until the wire burns in and then I pull everything towards me. And there we go.
Oh, it's already there. Off. How nice. So now I have my crenellations the way I want them to be, where this larger part, this upper part, is partially over the wall, sits on the wall. Yeah, so another piece done. Okay, um, <clears throat> just a fun video, just to show you how I work and try to get the best result with the less, uh, uh, the least of efforts, you could say. So, thanks again for watching. Not sure what will be next, what will be the next video, but we will find out soon enough. So, see you later. Bye bye.